Today we're just going to be looking at a quick explanation of the energy graph against displacement for simple harmonic motion. As an example, we have the uh, motion pendulum illustrated over here on the right. Okay, well, let's have a think of what conversions of energies are occurring during one time period. So if we start at the amplitude during the motion of the pendulum, we know that the speed will be equal to zero. So just, just right over here, V is going to be equal to zero. At X is equal to zero, when it goes through the origin, uh, the speed will be at a maximum. And then when it reaches the amplitude, once again on the other side, the speed will also be equal to zero. Now this is represented by the kinetic energy curve on an energy against displacement graph. And this is represented in my sketch over here in green. So we can see that the kinetic energy is equal to zero at maximum displacement. Uh, the kinetic energy is at maximum when x is equal to zero, which is uh, just over here. And uh, once again, the kinetic energy drops back to zero at the amplitude. Now, the potential energy, in the case of a pendulum, that will be the gravitational potential energy, does exactly the opposite. So the potential energy is at a maximum at the amplitude because when the pendulum is here, there is more of a gravitational potential energy because there's a distance h and the gravitational potential energy is equal to mgh. Or when a spring extends, the, uh, the more you extend it, the more potential energy it has. Once uh, the pendulum is going through, through the equilibrium point, which is which is just here, our potential energy goes back to zero. Now notice that the principle of conservation of energy always holds in this graph. So at any point, if you were to add those two points, the, um, the total value will always be the same, and that will be equal to the total amount of energy in this system. We can draw this out here. Let's see if I can maybe draw this out in red. Let's make this a little bit bigger because this is really, really important. But the, the, this line in red will be the total energy. So we can write this over here, that this bit over here is our total energy which is equal to our kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Okay folks, so hopefully this graph makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment and uh, thank you very much for watching.